Dog Off Bowl. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, man, they were really excited in Lewis about this. It's a little bit of an early edition of the Bog Off Bowl. Let's roll the tape. We were in Lures this evening. No rain. Probably because I was there. And a brand new field. Brand Looks new nice. field. Loris Lions and Green Sea Trojans taking things on. Greg Mance, his first time playing Green Sea as the new head coach. I think he things started off early here with Knox. He finds the edge here and he scampers for about 20, 29 yards to get within the red zone for Loris. They're rolling pretty quick here. Tantre Knox gets the call again right up the gut and they get on the board quick, the Lions do. They go for the two-point conversion, convert it as well. They didn't really have any kind of kicking game today, oh. but they did have defense right here. Uh, Joey, Fogel. Joey and, Price is not be happy there. And there is that man, C.J. Cox, recovering the fumble for Lures. Getting in a good field position, but they didn't capitalize on this. Had a turnover on downs. Fans are still excited, though, because they're keeping that goose egg on the away team's scoreboard. Green C again with the ball. Lose it for Omar Johnson and the Lions to recover. And they finally capitalize on this third turnover of the first half with this play here. Knox again with the pass. He makes a couple of guys miss, crosses the field. He's a special kid. Goodbye. Goodbye. Knox scores again with that 50 plus yard passing touchdown. All Loris in this one. Green C actually has snuck some wins out of this series the last couple of years. Loris has always dominated it. Looks like they're back in fashion at the Bog Off Bowl champs to start the season. 24 to 0 Lions. Mm. Turnovers. Can't put the can't put the pick skin on the floor. Again, this score though, be done, should have been a lot worse. There were even in the first half, there was about three series the Lions had that ended in fourth down. Uh, loss of downs for mm. the Lions. So, well, I mean, you could look at it that way, but then again, you could look at it the other way and say Green C, Green C played really True. well there on defense. Go. If they held them that many times on fourth down, that, that's Didn't know that's you were a feeling. glass half full guy. Hey, guy. man, you got to look at both sides. Got to look at both sides. <laughs> well, i tell you what, Green C, uh, you know, they took it on the chin tonight. You, you can't turn the ball over. Joy Price is going to be all over them come tomorrow when they watch the film and then next week as well. But those guys at Green Sea understand that as well. It's it's a it's a veteran group there, mm -hmm. and they know going into Johnsonville, they got to clean that up, or, or uh, they're going to have they're going to have two losses on the scoreboard really quickly. So we'll see what happens with that one. And then of course next week, Loris goes to North Myrtle Beach. That rivalry it, it, it so speaks fun. for itself. It's fun. Yeah, I love that game. It speaks for itself. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see if the, what the Chiefs do tomorrow against Sockasty. Of course, Loris has a win under their belt already. I am going to look forward to Green Sea Floyd's this season. They'll be done. Why? Because of one man, one man alone, number 85, Simmons. 275 pounds. He's of, not a small man. Of backfield. I didn't, you saw him at the end there, the highlights. He's one of their lead backs this year. Yeah. No, he's not a, he's not a small individual. He's just Can't he, wait to see him in the open field, though. Can't wait for that. That's going to be great. Do not want to get hit by that guy. Green Sea always has some. They they had Thorndike last year, who was a big kid. And now he's yeah, playing baseball was. at East Carolina, and now they got DeAndre, and obviously he's doing some damage too. And it's going to be fun to watch him as the uh, season progresses. All right, well, let's let's continue to roll on this train. We'll